Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. Actually, this is the new workshop. There's the door and the power panel and Mr. Rob. So, this is going to be the home of the new workshop. We've got white oak floors in here. The color just seems to be just so way off. Oh, there, Mr. Rub wants to go out already. <laughs> so, this building used to be my workshop where I had my wood turning studio. And after a number of years of lying vacant, it uh, was infested with mice and birds and squirrels and who knows what else. So I gutted it. Yeah, we did. We gutted it and had it power sprayed with baking soda to eliminate the smells and dirt and everything else. Vacuumed it all out power washed it and uh, proceeded to remodel it. I've got nice about seven foot to the top edge of the wall but then I've got another two to three feet to the top of the ceiling so it's a really nice space. I've got the door with a window, I've got a window, and then I've got three windows on the south facing wall. So, the floor is white oak. I installed this floor two weeks after my hip surgery. Yeah, I did. And I know that sounds like a very bad thing to do, but I was going crazy. And this is an experiment. It's a floating floor. Yeah, I know, Mr. Rub. Don't interrupt. Some of it's quarter sawn. Some of it's got a little sapwood. Some of it's got some dark heartwood. But there's no nails. It's floating. In the summertime, it's fantastic. It's tight. It's comfortable, it's beautiful, but in the winter it shrinks up and everything becomes loose. So I need to lift this floor and nail it down, but we will wait. <laughs> we will wait until January or February when all the wood dries totally out, the air becomes frozen here, and everything just dries out. Then I'll nail it down. So that means that for right now, the workshop will only have wall space for cabinets. Over there, over here. It's kind of hard to see. Camera's not focusing. And um, this building was laid out with eight different electric circuits, 120 and 220 on the north wall, the west wall, south and east. But I probably will not use but maybe two of them. One for a bench grinder and one maybe for heating. There's no heat in this building. I use a little ceramic heater right now, just a little, just a little ceramic heater. And that just keeps the chill off. I'm thinking I'm going to put some sort of a um, uh, not really as wide as what you see there, but a, a single window stool that goes across all three windows and it'll act as a shelf and then in between the windows I have, I have room for cabinetry in the corner there I have room 
Over there, I have some room. I might put a desk there. I'm really thinking that that spot there will be my easy chair because I can sit and read there. Part of the plan is to bring all my books and magazines into this space. I don't know about Mr. Rub though. Rob, what? <laughs> you want to go out? Okay, we'll go out. So that's about it for today. I wanted to give you an introduction to the new space. Uh, up here, I have uh, six hi-hat lights. Gives me 900 watts of floodlight, but I think we've got a problem with the echo in here. So this flat surface across the angle of the roof line over here, we may put some sort of acoustic panels up there. Yep, we're going out. So once again, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, stick around. We're going to do something different in here. Oh, there's something here I want you to see. You see this spot over here? See that dark spot? That was caused by a bottle, a plastic bottle of cleaning ammonia. It leaked the gases from the, the liquid ammonia passed through the bottle, through the paper it was sitting on, and darkened the floor. That's what's called fuming, F-U-M-I-N-G, fuming. So white oak responds very well to fuming. But I find it interesting that the one piece didn't take it, but the other two did. So. <laughs> Go figure, that's life. So, hey, Mr. Rub, want to say good night, buddy? Huh? Want to say good night? I think he's gotten accustomed to the space. Hey, listen, thanks for stopping by. Head out to your shop, do some planning, make some shavings. Walter out.